Hello there everyone, despite me having a big ball of what feels like potato soup in my voice box, it's undeniably that glorious time of the week again, where after this intro there's news that's much more exciting than Molstamp implementing a particle, whatever that means, Junk Boy putting his mask on back to front and struggling to speak, and Jacob having his keyboard tainted. Ugh. It's the weekend of the second MoJam! This year, MoYang has split up into three teams, each creating a different game based on suggestions from us. The highest voted options are being taken for use in the creations. The three main characters reflect some of the themes. We suggested some crazy ideas to say the least. The cause is to raise money for Block by Block and EFF. Not only that, but five other game studios are taking part, and their live streams galore to watch the development. At this moment in time, there's currently one day before Mojam draws to a close at midnight on Saturday. So hurry over to HumbleBundle.com where you can find live stream tabs and donation details. It's pay what you want for all the games produced over the entire Epic Development Jam session. Owen has been posting some updates as things progress with humorous insights from Notch. Gotta love these guys and you've got to love the causes that they're doing this for. You're not going to run short of amazing live streams this week as Minecraft Marathon 2013 has begun. It runs from 12pm Friday the 22nd to 5pm Sunday the 24th. The marvellous Mark has outdone himself with his brainchild this year and is being backed by an amazing host of people. The Voxel Box folks did some superb building for the server and there are screenshots of some of the most standout features already over on Reddit. There's a schedule on the website and includes a most people on a server ever attempt and fundraising eBay auction of some absolutely superb swag. As we said, all the details on the site are in the links below. 4J Studios have spilled some more beans on Minecraft for Xbox Title Update 9, this screenshot to be precise. There are quite a few upcoming features hidden within it, such as item frames, dispensed water, new blocks, the mob eggs, and a clever map marker showing the location of the end portal when another player is in the end. Plenty more sneak peeks in there to boot. Sticking with the Xbox, Play XBLA dropped some screenshots of yet more avatar items for your live persona if you so desire to spend some Microsoft points to get them. I have to say, that ocelot is cute. They're not out yet, but the official word is soon. App designers 57 Digital have scored another superb hit with the Minecraft Papercraft Studio. It's the latest iOS app to be partnered with Mojang and it's going down an absolute storm. Sasha Varel wrote a grand spread about it on the Minecraft forum and of course it was featured on the Mojang blog too. The idea is to find a skin you adore in the index of over 300,000 skins, send it to your printer for papery recreation and then you follow the proverbial yellow brick road until you've cut and stuck yourself an awesome 3D papercraft model. Over on their YouTube channel is a trailer and a brief tutorial video. Between those and the app, you're good to go. It's available for iOS, priced at $2.99 on iTunes. Links are below. Thanks very much to your eyes and ears for being with us again this week. We hope they've been pleasurably caressed with newsy joy. Donate huge sums of gold and jewels to the Toby Get Well Soon Fund, and do please consider joining our merry crew by hitting this big old subscribe button. Once you've considered that, cast your mind over to the left for last week's news, or over here to the right for the zombie mayhem in our scary apocalyptic let's play in a map crafted by Hypixel. Until next week's folks, take care and we'll see you soon. Ciao.